Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this video is taken, this is my fourth take on this subject, but I have to get it off my chest. And as the title says, The Irony of Blaming Video Games for Gun Violence. The title says it all. Now, before we get into the subject, this is me using Mechanical Bear for the second time. And yes, you see me get quite a few kills, but let's take note, some of these kills are bots. Now, unlike other games, let's be honest here, people. The Gears of War has been renowned for having bots doing random BS stuff. So, when I say I've killed a bot, it is a bit of an achievement. <laughs> anyway, I look, I get some of my shots on, I bounce around, I do all right here. But as of course, you know, I get overconfident cocky using the elite controller with the dome sticks. And guess what happens? Wobba gets caught out on the outside here and Bear gets his ass shot off. Now, the irony of blaming video games for gun violence. Now, that's a long title. It's an intelligent title and it's hurting my head and it's very unusual for a channel like this. But I am not American. I've been to America. And I think it's a bit rude for me to comment and have a go at people's president and leaders. So I'm going to do my absolute best not to talk about the current one because the big picture is, regardless of who has been in power in the United States, they've had shootings. They've had mass shootings. It's an unfortunate thing and it's gone on and on and on. And talking about presidents here and there, it, you know what, it's just too easy a subject to go on. We need to talk about how the recent president, the man in charge, El Trumpo, El Trumpador, you know what I think of him. We all know whatever at the end of the day. Hey, it's come out. And the first thing he said about the last shootings at El Paso, and I, I can't remember where the other one was because, you know, I don't want to go into details. It's very upsetting here in the whole thing. His first thing he said was violent movies and video games. Okay, they were the first thing he blamed. And people have flocked to that like nothing else. And I will say this. I ignored most of it. I didn't really take much of it because, you know, it's a, it's a touchy subject. But then it's come up with few people follow on Twitter people in the in the, in the history over in the United States of America and I've had to make my point and the recent one I watched was on um, what was it it was on uh, Instagram believe it or not a short video believe it or not on Instagram can you believe it like yeah where's it all coming to there's there's wife bot source hunting right there right there and there ladies and gentlemen Instagram oh <laughs> hitting the hard subjects there mate but anyway after I was watching the old Insta and I saw this little thing Charlie Zard I always mess up her last name Great Australian video game journalist. He's now with Funhouse, which is what I think of Roots of Teeth, whatever. Was with IGN. Brilliant, brilliant. Does some great videos. Great journalistic stuff. Seriously, without a doubt. Really proud to see an Australian up there. She was talking about how, with this coming out, they're blaming video game violence for the latest spray of shootings and so forth. That Walmart. Walmart had an internal video coming around their store saying, could you please stop showing violent movies and displaying violent video games on the shelves because of the recent spate of shootings and what's happened here. Now, they did that, but there was no mention because Walmart also sells semi-automatic pistols and everything else and guns and bullets, which are the things which actually did the killing, which actually, unfortunately, did inflict the may mayhem and terror and all sorts of stuff on the innocent people within the Walmart. But nope, no, no, no. The video games and movies had to be taken off. So, the irony of the irony in just the title of this video and their behavior is... It just blows my mind. It says this problem is never going to go away. And people are going to choose to ignore it. So I'm going to give you an example. And if people bring up Australia always as an example because of our gun controls. Now, for you, most of you don't know, I was quite young. We had a pretty bad shooting, shootout type, of, you can say more shooting, years ago at Strasville. And then not long after that, there was Martin Bryant, the, the sick individual that did the whole thing down at Port Arthur. And after that, our Prime Minister at the time, now whether you're a fan of Liberal, Labor, Greens, whatever, but I think 90% of Australians will agree with me, this is one of the best things the government did, regardless of what government they are. Let's keep it civil, Aussie. Look at that shot, look at that. Why am I going off of two frogs and half a sock? Um, he said, nah, yeah, nah, 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 mate. Like, we can't be trusted with guns. We're hot-headed, we're, you know, we go, we go troppo, which is a term they use up in Queensland. Nah, take them away, we don't need them. And guess what, our gun violence has dropped monumentally. I actually have faith in our police when there is gun violence rising in Sydney a couple of years ago, which was pistols and shootings. Uh, there weren't many deaths, there were a lot of wounding. The police were on board, and I have actually faith in the police in doing that. Yes, you're probably saying, what do you, you really want? I said, yeah, I do, mate, I do. I think we don't give our federal police enough credit as we should. But anyway, enough of that crap. It dropped by almost, you could say, 100%. We haven't had a mass shooting since. So, it works. It works. Now, we play a lot of video games. We watch a lot of actually physical violent sport. We have domestic violence through the roof in this country. So I'm over the moon that we even, it's hard to buy a crossbow and stuff like that because, or even a pistol grip 
uh, slingshot because the domestic violence in this country is through the roof. So it works. It's irrefutable. Now, people are going to say, but what if you get invaded? Well, anybody invades this country, mate, we've got a good defense force, but they're only going to shut off the ports, they're going to close our pubs, take our beer, remove the TAB, remove the NFL and ARL, whatever you want to call it, AFL, and we're screwed. That's how they're going to do it. They're, they're going to close off our ports and do it that way. It's too big a land. So stop that argument right then and there. Plus, our wildlife is pretty kick-ass, guys. Like a brown snake. A brown snake... Yeah, you've got your, your rattlesnakes, which warn everybody, but our brown snakes find out where you live, shit in your letterbox, and then bite you. Yep, they do it, and I can prove it. Well, not really, but anyway. So, he's come out, he, the, the government's come out, and they're playing video games. And it's not video games. It's not. It's not video games. It's guns, and it's gun control. There are always sick people. Now, the government can't keep an eye on everybody. Look at that grenade. That was the worst fra Look, I almost fragged and tagged myself like that. was embarrassing. And, yeah, yeah, I find it funny that he's repeating the same things that Obama got a, a, a shock for. And I, don't get me wrong, I'm not a big, oh, Obama's the best idiot, either, because he just wanted to put tighter controls on gun control, and they're saying that now. But you can't go to your government and say, hey, you can't take our guns off us, but then winch to them when the gun violence gets out of control and say, do something. You just can't. It'd be better if the current president or any president just came out and said, look, this is the way it is, be more responsible with your guns. You won't let us take the guns off you. Is what happens. Rather than blaming video games or something else, just say, hey, the issue is gun control. That's it, pure and simple. You want to have the right to bear arms? Well, everybody has to wear a flight jacket. And you have to come to terms with that. It's not oh what the government should be doing. They are elected by the people for the people to protect the people. And unfortunately, the living people hurt themselves. I mean, from an outsider's point of view, you don't have to worry about anybody invading you. You're on the path of self-destruction. There's so much vitriol and hatred on the internet these days. And Australia would be, in my view, be just as bad if we could get guns easily. Trust me. The stuff I hear people say and show and speak to each other on Facebook here and there and not have a civil conversation, left or right, we'd be out there shooting people as well. Yeah, and don't deny it. We had somebody putting up a poster here in New South Wales to support Tony Abbott. Now, I'm not a, Tony Abbott's biggest fan, biggest fan, but I'm a big supporter of democracy and we have a right to protest and a guy has a right to put up a poster civilly, legally, without the thought or threat of being beaten up. And he got beaten up. So you can imagine what Australia would be like if we didn't have tighter gun, gun control. That guy probably would have been shot. So it's not video games. It's not. It's people's beliefs. But more importantly, it's a mental health issue. But the biggest one is gun control. Gun control. Not video games, gun control. And I can prove that because I play video games and all my video game friends have not been violent. And the friends I had who have been violent had nothing to do with video games. It was how they brought up domestic violence, lifestyle and choices. But it wasn't video games. It wasn't. If, if, any, gear, if any gaming community is going to be the most violent in gaming, it's going to be the Gears community, by the way. They like to punch on and tell you how it is. It's a, it's a broken community because the game's broken, but they love it, like I do. Frag and tag. But American government, grow up, take responsibility, gun control. Otherwise, just be comfortable with that occasional person taking 50 lives because he's, he's not happy that day. Frag and tag. See you next video. I'll be lighthearted next one. Have a good weekend, peeps.